Then Vivek left his architecture rapture and went back to the space that was not his space. From the provisional house, he looked into the middle world to find the fourth monster, called the Pocket Cabal. The monster hid itself in spell lists of the great Khmeri wizards of Extreme East, where the Emperor Parasols grow wild. Vivek disguised himself as a simple traveler, but radiated a tenuous sense fabric so that wizard would seek him out. Of Matra, he made a simple walking dwarf. Before long, the Invisible One was among the libraries of the East, feeding the essential words of the pocket cabal to his walking dwarf, and then running when the magic would fail. After a year or two of this thievery, Matra was stick to his stomach, and then the walking dwarf exploded near the slave pens of the wizard tower. The pocket cabal then slipped itself into the mouths of the slaves and hit again. Vivek then watched as the slaves erupted into babble and breaking magic. They rattled their cages and sung out half hymns. They formed into forbidden and arcane knowledge. Linany, fiends appeared and drank from the excess. Rabbas from the adjacent place came into the world sideways. The slaves talking, having disrupted the normal non-cardinal points. So of course a giant bug appeared with the greatest eastern wizard inside it. He could see past Vivek's disguise and knew of the warrior poet's divinity, but he thought himself so powerful that he talked harshly. See what you have wrought, silly triune, columns of nonsense and litany freeing. I cannot believe how reason or temperance can be made whole again due to your eating and eating and eating. On sort with more demons, why don't you? Vivek stabbed the wizard through his soul. The giant bug harness fell on the slave cages, and the slaves ran about free and reckless, too reckless, more with pregnant words. Colors bent into the earth. Vivek created a dome-headed demon to contain it all. The pocket cabal is therefore interred here forever. Let this be a cursed land where sorcery is broken and maligned. Then he picked up Matra by the beard and left the ghostly hemisphere of the dome head demon on its boundary. Vivek placed a warning and a song at the entrance that contained airs in it. With mock bones of half-dead Matra, he created the tent poles of a fortress theory and a fatal languages were imprisoned for all time. Set appeared and looked on what his brother's sister had created. The clockwork king said, of eight monsters, this is the most confusing, may I treasure it. Vivek gave Set leave to do so, but told him never to release the pocket cabal into the middle world. He said, I have hidden secrets in my travels here and made a likeness of Matra to ward against the unwise. Under this dome, the temporal myth is no longer man. The ending, the words, is Amul Zavai.